Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna continue with the evil campaign for the Shadow and Flame mods in Battle for Middle Earth 1 with three different options. We have either Wolfgar and Sharku, we have also Grima, Wormtongue and Saruman and also of course Lourdes and Ugluk, that's gonna be also our choice. We are gonna attack the Rohan for 50 more command points instead of 25. Double or nothing, let's get it started. Rohan lands of the horse lords soon these lands will have a new master okay and now we have also a big castle uh, which is nice we have way more spots now and we have no upgrades on these units and these are uruk scouts i want to actually lose them guys i'm not gonna lie to you i want to actually send them to death let's you go guys you go you do you <laughs> because I want to get a full new army. I don't want to waste my command points on these weak Uruks. Uh, not even Urukai, the scouts. Um, we also need a Lumber Mill as soon as possible. Oh, there's even a troll there. What is this? What is troll doing there? Attacking us. We can also put them inside this one. Okay, that's nice. I didn't know that. I mean, I know that this is possible, but I didn't know that this is possible also in the campaign. But it's nice that it's possible. Okay, we have a settlement here. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of trees around, but we have a goblin layer, which means we can take it down and get some extra resources. Let's build some towers here. This troll is actually following us. That's interesting. Oh, he was closing the gate and hoping for the best, I guess. This one troll is gonna kill us all, by the way. The cave troll. Okay, Lourdes, you can also join uh, your mate, Ugluk, with your sword. Orkish medicine. Heals nearby friendly Uruka units and heroes. I mean, I like this. A bit sustained for the evil faction like Isengard is always great. Let's build some more workers for 20. They also cost 1 command points each, which doesn't sound too crazy, but you will need some, you know, some of them. And depends on how many mills you have. Uh, you might invest like 50 of your command points potentially for workers exclusively. Anyways, we got this. That's beautiful. We got also the money from the clear. Uh, we can also buy the outputs if we really want to, but is it going to be a nice choice? I'm not sure about that. I, I don't think it's a nice choice to do that yet because we can't afford to lose it, you know? And I've seen units moving to the top right side, so there is a high chance that you might lose them. Okay, you guys can kill as many units as you possibly can. We can also try to use Vision of Palantir for the first time, actually. Okay, that's a huge <laughs> army. But the good thing is, as long as you are around this side, he will always close the gate. However, he has a post sun gate anyway. So, um, hmm. Oh, Rohirrim arrive in four minutes. Oh my goodness. That doesn't sound really promising for us. We will need a bit more time, though. Okay, battle tower. I don't know why I just bought the outpost. Doesn't make any sense to me, but I, we just made the mistake. But it's okay, it's okay. Let's kill this with the double swordman. Let's build one more. We have actually one more unit. Let's send him also here. Lord's level 3, that's great. That means carnage. We have also leadership now. Hunt for the ring. Nearby infantry and heroes gain 15% uh, speed bonus. Uh, speed bonus and a 50% experience bonus. And also resistance to fear. So Ugluk is actually a really great hero. Let's use carnage. Kill as many units as we possibly can. Let's make... Actually, let's make a furnace here. And a tower here. Double tower is better than one. You guys attack. Keep sporting maybe. You see how fast you are now with Ugluk's passive? That's that's very nice. It's also, you know, a passive ability, which means it's available all the time. 15% movement speed uh, bonus for units like Urukai, which are uh, really fast regardless, is actually very nice. I'm telling you. Okay, keep fighting. You guys can also spot them, maybe. Get a fire going! Okay, you guys can maybe try to kill this. Uruks. You shouldn't have the same voice. Let's use Carnage to kill this farm a bit faster. Carnage is making Lourdes hit like an absolute track. Okay, we will need combos. These are Isengard Urukai. They cost the same actually, like the... Yeah, they cost actually the same. Maybe these units are not that bad. I mean, they are bad. You are not even able to buy upgrades on these units. You know, that's the problem you have. Okay, we have now the second mill, which, me which means more money. 
we will have a lot of money kicking in very soon. And once those furnaces are hitting level 2 or level 3, it's going to be even better. It's actually not bad. Look how much damage he's able to deal. Not bad. But the problem is we have only 1 minute and 50 seconds left to be ready. And I'm afraid that this time is going to be quite tight. So we need to build the armory now to get the heavy armor, forge plates, and also the not the fire arrow upgrade, but the other one. Remember, fire doesn't exist in this mod. I mean, we can... Oh, wait a second. Why we didn't use the vestition yet? Bam! Bunch of money, just like that. Okay. And also the Isengard Sapper. I want to do that. These are like the self-exploding uh, self-bombers, you know, from... Uh, you know, you remember in the in the films. And they were jumping to the mine and boom, you know? It was quite nice. That's the upgrade you need to have for this one, though. Anyways, we, we, we're gonna buy all the upgrades anyway. We have just enough money for this for this stuff. Okay. Alright. We've leveled to their respawning, but that's pretty much it. Uh, what makes them so unique is that they are like the Alvin warriors from the Rohan faction that they are able to fight with swords and bow. That's pretty, pretty unique. And you are not even able to recruit them. Okay, we will need more of them. Oh my goodness, there comes a lot of army. Uh, Lourdes and uh, Uglu can fight them. And unlike Sharku and Wolfgar, they are not that squishy. I mean, I take it back, actually. They are very squishy. Holy moly, 1000 health, 4th level 2. Uglu, come on. I was expecting you to be a bit more tanky. And there comes the Rohan army, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what that means, right? We need pikemen. As easy as that. Carnage also offers you uh, spl splash damage, which means you are able to hit multiple units at the same time with Lords, which makes him simply to the best hero in the game. That's a big Isengard army, uh, yeah, Rohan army though, not gonna lie. Lords, you can uh, do your stuff from a safe distance a little bit maybe. We will be losing this tower, but it's okay. We are just waiting for the upgrades. Okay, so now we need also pikemen and crossbowmen, and then we can finally, once this is level 3, we are able to get those sappers. Okay, we will be losing this area. These towers are made of paper. They are not that tanky. Ugluk, maybe you can save this uh, settlement, would be great. Maybe we can place you in this one ringed tower there. Let's make a tower. Ah, it's gonna be dangerous, but it's okay. I guess. What, what is he doing? You wanna run into my pikeman? I'm down. I'm down. Running into the pikeman is never a great choice, my friend. Look, look, pikeman. Instantly heals. That's nice. Okay, that's nice. The feast. Okay, we will be losing this battalion, though. But the pikemen did great job. <laughs> really great job. Let's not lose him. Okay. Oh no! Why, why did I do that? Okay, we were able to save one of them. That's good. We can make one more one more pikemen, crossbowmen combo and then we will get this sappers. And like, like mentioned before, we can save this. So let's use the vestition once again to get some money. Which is always nice. Wait for them to respawn. And uh, yeah, you put, you normally have to build uh, siege weapons to break the wall. Because that's hard army and they will be always closing the gate. But I believe the sappers, they're also able to break the gate. Uh, potentially, I want to see that. Okay, this, are, this battalion uh, is really good against horses. Okay, let's go like that. And you are only able... How many can you get of them? Actually, you can recruit as many of them as you want, I guess. Berserker Sapper. These Uruk Berserkers carry smaller bombs on their back to set a light, killing themselves and all people around them attack a target to explode. But I believe it's also work. Okay, everything purchased. Nice. So we can demolish this. Lurtz is level 3. Level 5, if I'm not mistaken, is needed. And also the leadership is a bit nerfed. Normally Lourdes gives you 60% uh, more damage, but no armor. This time it's giving you armor and damage mix, but not that much anymore. 
There are some days I would prefer the 60% damage boost all the time, you know? Okay, so Lourdes and also you guys can join. Okay, you guys, I, if I, I'm actually, you know, let's go for a safer number. Let's go for four. No, let's go for four. And this way we have, we know that we have enough, you know? And also, let's demolish this. You know what we could potentially do? We can maybe get some Vork Riders on the field. Ah, that's not possible. Nah, that's not possible. Let's get some siege weapons in this case. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we can also get some Berserkers to, to refight for the map control. They are dealing a lot of damage. But that's only one single unit. That's the only downside from the battalion. You can see the combos are quite uh, slow. But the heroes, especially with the bonus from the hunt for the ring, from uh, Ugluk, they are extremely fast. Okay, we will now see what's gonna happen. Can I can I right click? Yes, I can right click. Let's go. I want to see this now. I want to see this now. Four of them at the same time. Please. Boom. Okay, enough. Enough to break the wall. That's that's awesome. You do what I say. You do what I say, lords. Okay, wait a second. Let's use War Chant and let's go inside the jeans, guys. He can't close the gate anymore, right? Oh, we lost the Berserker. Oh, we didn't actually send him yet. Okay, we will. Okay. Okay, I mean. Wait a second. Uh, we can also get some Ballistas on the field. Uh, let's demolish this. Get inside the jeans and also use. I oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. More like that, look. Okay, not very good. Uh, and we have again the same situation in which it's gonna be a problem for us because we have not the damage against the buildings. Because fire, that's because of fire, you know? The fire it's okay, but without fire it's horrible. But we can use its own cooldown carnage. It's a huge army there, by the way. Um, no work pit, right? No, work pit is not existing here, unfortunately. Okay, we can get some more of them. And uh, please, we need to get some farms. We have no money, but we have devastation. Boom. No money, no problem. Level 5. Level 5 is needed, yeah. Level 5 is needed. But you get the cripple immediately. That's very nice. Just like in BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King. Normally in BFME 1, you need to fight for it, you know? So, we, we need to just chill here, kill as many units. Luckily, he has no towers, but he's repairing the wall. He was trying to repair the wall, but he can't when the Zitter is down. That's not possible anymore. Okay. Nice. Um, actually, let's, let's try something. Wait a second. Let's try something. I want to I wanna kill the army here with the... With the Berserkers, you know? Let's use Warchan once again. Okay. This is good. We kill this. And Lourdes, you can also uh, draw your sword and kill some buildings, maybe. Okay. okay, we need more Ballistas. Let's put them inside for defense. I mean, we have three. Okay. Let's, let's try to make something happen with this three. They are slowly but surely taking down this castle. Should not take too much time. I mean, depends on how long the cooldown is gonna be from the fire arrows. But Lourdes is doing a nice job anyway, and the farms are not very... Oh, it is another outpost. Wait a second, wait, wait, wait. I wanna see this, I wanna see this. Boom! Boom! These units are awesome, dude! Holy moly! That's nice. That's really nice. Did you get the okay. That's really, really nice. Okay, we have also Ballistas now. We should be golden. Again, money is a big problem, though. Lourdes is potentially going to hit level 4 here. What are our missions? Upgrade 5 horse with heavy armor. No problem. I got you. Did you get the new X? How many do we need? One more? Maybe one more. Done the Shaxman. Let's give heavy armor to see if it's gonna be enough. Okay, you guys now don't waste time and move down. We, we killed a big, uh, big castle. That's already good enough. 
Heavy armor, nice. Purchase, good. Let's give him still bonus. Okay, I mean, that's gonna take some time, but it's okay. I don't want to use the flaming thing for this one. Okay, you guys move there. Okay, you, you keep killing this with the carnage, maybe. Uh, heavy armor purchase, banner carrier purchase. Only miss. Oh, this one has, I believe, I missing for this one, yeah. And also the banner is missing. So only the heavy armor is purchased, but it's okay. Yeah, we have no more space for more command points, unfortunately, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, always say it's okay, but you know, would be. A, I don't know about this, you know, that you heavily need infantry units to deal damage to the buildings. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's me because I'm not used to it. I can't tell you guys. You can let me know in the comment section down below about your thoughts about uh, the changes they do they did to the combat battalions and stuff like that. War chance? Yeah, you can use your bow. Loot. Okay. Nice. So. Naisu. Naisu. Okay. We're gonna lose this ballista, but it's... I don't mind that. I don't mind ballistas. I wanna get more of them. More of these units on the field. For the ultimate meme complication. That's gonna be... They, I mean, they are very unique. And also, I like them. They are really nice units. I really like them. This better be worth it. Don't let them kill the barista. Oh, even the archers are dealing now damage to the barista. Okay, you might, uh, if you don't mind, you can destroy this outpost maybe. No? <laughs> they are just chilling there. I can't believe it. Okay, we can make some more workers and send them potentially to this area just to make sure that opponent is not able to revive the space, you know? We need the ballista damage against the buildings. But ballistas are hitting very slowly. Let's see the damage now with fire. In Lourdes, you can draw the sword and take down the citadel too. Lourdes is dealing... They might actually buy this again. Hopefully not. Okay. Nice. And on this army, we can potentially use the Eye of Sauron. Let's build a slaughterhouse here instead of a lumber mill because you can see command point problem once again. Okay, let's get more of these units and sacrifice all our lumber mill workers to get some more of them. They cost only four command points, so we can actually get a bunch of them on the field if we have the command points for that. Devastation is very cool. I like Devastation a lot. Okay, let's... You kill. You kill them. Peasants versus lumber mill workers. The showdown. They are looking so angry and so done with their lives. Look at them. Look at them. Look at this picture. <laughs> okay, we get we get one more though now because of that. We get even two more because of that. Look how fast they are respawning. They, they are spawning too. That's crazy. They are just expensive. Really expensive. Each of them is a lot, you know? Fire. Okay, we fire. It's okay. Lords, maybe you might... If you don't mind, you can also do something. The thing is, if we kill this, it's gonna be game over, but it's okay, it's okay. We have enough units on the field, and we will be using these bombers in the next mission, guys. Let's use Warchan on these units, and give them also fire to see the damage. Pew, 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 pew! The fire is a different story, of course. The fire is a big difference. GG well played, guys. That was not very hard. The one mission before it was way more difficult, but again, depends also on the missions. I'm excited about uh, Helm's Deep, of course, and we're gonna invade Helm's Deep. Hope you're gonna not miss this video. If you don't want to miss this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like. Likes are helping out a lot. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves, and as always, we shall vanquish all who oppose Sauron and stay beyond standards. Peace.